Hello, everyone. So what I want to do now is show you the difference between custody trading and consent trading. So we, first of all, let me explain to you what normally happens, okay? So this is what normally happens. To if divine custody, a platform or process has your funds. So this is custody here on the left, and this over here, and this consent. Trading and custody. Great. Okay, great. Now, for custody trading, I have to have funds already. So, in this case, I have $118.88 on pocket options. On Binance, I have $233.57. Now, in this account here, I want to send my funds to. I only have five thousand seventy six cents. So the normal way custody works is that Binance would have to send funds to pack options. Binance, but um, Binance balance reduces. The balance in pack option increases. Previously, we had a situation where we can use lay copy trading. This account on the left here. This account here and this bottom right account, I can connect this account to that. And when this balance goes up, this balance goes up as well too. When this comes down, that comes down too. That's how custody trading works. Now, the difference between, between this and consent trading is that this totally eradicates the need for our source funds. First Caribbean, Pocket Workers, Binance, Pocket Options. The system doesn't need these sources to send funds. The funds are already available in trades. All we need are accounts to send the funds to. So I want to demonstrate this using a platform that has nothing to do with Pocket Options. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create an email account, an email account for a platform called Codex. Codex is another platform for our buy option trade. So we're gonna come here and choose create free account. And you're gonna create one, let's call this consent. Trading stack. Okay, next. We just give it a password. Next, and um, consent trading. Uh, let's do it today's date, which is November the 19th, and let's choose 1945. Right? And hit next, consent trading. Let's go through, let's prove that we are human. Three, still like snow cones. Nope. I think that is it. Uh, just look for no shape hands. Submit. And no necklaces. Submit. Four birdies. That would be four birds to me. Two, let's call it um, tables. <laughs> Two tables. One table, there are two tables, but one table is larger than the other. But I'll, I'll go ahead and still select it. And one hand, one hand there, and one dollar sign for those. One, there we go. Submit. And if have one hand, nope. one hand, excuse. And one tight, more ties there. A lot of ties there, a lot of ties, a lot of ties, and one tight. And let's see if we get this right. Three hands, four hands, two hands, one hand, three hands. So maybe let's see if we got all of them correct. And we did. All right, so we're going to, um, we now have, a fully created email address. Now, 
let's go and create an email uh, account on codex.com. So I'm not going on sign up. Now the beauty about codex is that you can create the best type of content today. We're not even going to be using other options um, for this demonstration. Okay. All right. So let's sign into our email content.trading.stack. So let's we are logging into the email account and it's coming up now. And there it is. So let's log in. Let's create a, an account on cortex.com. And we're going to show you the power of content trading. So there's our email there. And I'm going to hit sign up. Now, the beauty about Codex is that you can deposit funds and take funds off without fair fair. This is the best way you can describe content trading. All you need is to tell the system where to send your funds to. Right. So I'm going to hit sign up, hit registration. Right, so we're gonna create um, email. Email is consent. Uh, trading. Stack. Uh, Outlook. Um, we have password here. Registration. Now this platform should send me a. A verification email and let's skip all this stuff and okay and let's close this off and let's go to our profile oh. and let's verify that email right so id is not verified and we just need to verify the email and hit not verified so let's see it here we go to our email close this and hit continue. And welcome to Codex and email verification. And we'll click on this link, confirm the email. And that's all you need. That account is fully ready to receive funds. And we can also send funds without no ID. Um, let's create this now. So let's fund this account. Now, I believe the minimum of this is 10 USDT. So let's confirm that. And let's go to deposit. Um, let's come here to finances. Let's see here market and small trade. Oh, let's see how we fund this up. Deposit there is right in front of you, Carl. Right, so we have many options here. Let's choose USD TRC20. Um, I think there, let's choose Tether BP. Tether 20, that is the Binance protocol. Um, the reason for this is that this one is a dollar US on transfer rate, and this one is 30 cents on, um, on Binance. So let's go and choose um, BEP 20 USD Tether, right? All right, so um, minimum amount is $20. Let's see if we can find something much more um, economical than that. Um, let's go back here to deposit and choose the USD TRC20. Let's see what the minimum balance of that is. 10, so let's use that instead because $20.03 is more expensive than $11.10 plus, plus one. So let's do that, all right? So I want to do $10, This is the minimum. So we're going to send $11 from Binance, right? So we're going to choose 10 and hit deposit. And this is the address. So we're gonna copy this address. And then we're gonna to come to Binance. And let's, let's open this together. Let's open this together. Be at that spot. Let's drag this back over here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna fund this. This is from, we're gonna show you two methods. So this one is custody. I am moving fund from finance to broker, um, Codex. So this is using the custody method. I have to move actual funds, okay? So I'm gonna choose Tether, which is here. I'm gonna hit uh, the three dots and choose withdraw. And um, I am going to choose, I'm going to place the address in here. And that address starts with capital T, capital K, capital AX, correct? And the last four are capital S, E, and U, correct? 
There we go, right? So the net worth is actually TRC20, right? So since it was 10 US, I'm gonna send 11, right? And then um, once it's doing to do that, I wanna confirm it. So just drag this up here, on that one, this one. Okay, and I'm gonna hit draw. And I'm gonna authorize this. Now this takes about 15 minutes or so, or less than that. So let's hit continue. And I will pause the recording and when the funds are there, um, I will actually um, go ahead and restart the recording. I'm sure the funds are available. So let's place in that code now. Okay, so those funds are leaving Binance using a custody method. So Binance's balance will be juiced, and those funds will turn in here. So at this point, now I'll pause the recording and we start the recording when the funds are there. Okay, so that means now the funds have gone over to um, quadex.com. And close this. I'm going to refresh the screen now and let's show you what is the balance of Binance after those, those that 10 US left Binance. So Binance had a balance. Let's go back to who? Dashboard. Right, so we're our balance now is eleven dollars less than it was before two 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 point zero two, and that's a combination of Litecoin and Tether. So, but the balance is less. Those funds left Binance and went here. So we are in Quotex.com. Now, let's show you the power of consent trading now. So I can come here and choose to start trading. And I'm um, going to look for a derivative that's very similar, if not the exact same thing, to um, pocket options. So what I want to do is change it from candles to links. So the first thing I do, and choose area. Perfect, right. Now, um, I want to switch this to um, face of trading to match what uh, pocket option has. Great, so this is a UDCAD. A U C A D. Now this is definitely how consent trading is. Now this bond is at one hundred and eighteen dollars and eighty eight cents. Great. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna try to do as fast as possible. I am gonna buy on pocket options and I'm gonna sell here on Quotex. So let me just try to get this done as fast as possible because the algorithm does this. But I'm just doing this video to show you what consent trading is. You're just giving permission for funds to be sent over right so let's do that now great all right so at this point in time this is a UCD one dollar one dollar five cents i'm gonna sell and buy or sell buy and sell buy and try to get it as fast as possible yeah so scroll all the way in here and sell and buy Right, so that means that I moved funds from Quartex into AUDC by consent. I agreed that I'm going to do the opposite here. Let's do it the opposite way now. I only did both trades. So I consent for pocket options to follow what happens in Quartex. Both are going to buy, 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 buy. Okay, so There we go. So I gave consent for our codex to receive the trade that left pocket options. Look at that. We both put in buys on pocket options and codex, but what happened? Codex won the trade. So ladies and gentlemen, you're seeing here right in front of your eyes, the beauty of a consent trade there. I am not taking funds from pocket option, placing into uh, Binance and then funding Binance. Are we just just are we funded 
pocket codex from this. Now, let's go, the minimum withdrawal amount from codex is 15 US. So let's move it up a little bit more. I'm gonna put this at, um, let's say four US. I'm gonna put this to four US here. Let's do that one more time. But this, this time we're gonna sell, we're gonna sell on both platforms. Sell, sell. There you go. Both of them lost. So you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna buy here and sell there. Buy, sell. Look what happened. You saw the result. Let's look at trades and closed. We put a buy on the pocket options and we lost that trade. And we put a sell on the quarter and we won that trade. So you just mathematically, there wasn't any quote unquote consent between pocket option to leave for funds to leave there and to move. We are doing this all ourselves. So ladies and gentlemen, you're seeing right before your eyes here is that there is a system we have in place. It's called consent trading. And our program, our algorithm does this um, seamlessly. I'm just trying to show you it using my rudimentary hands and try to simulate what your program does for you. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, you can see multiple ways that this program can do this over and over and over and over and over again. Right, so I just want to record this quick video to show you the difference between custody trading, actually moving funds from Binance to Codex, and there are, there are so many ways we can use this going forward. Always, always stay connected.